Hey, let somebody else do it. Amen. Let somebody else do that. Oh, she's good at doing this. Let her do that. Oh, she's good at doing that. Let, no. What are you called to do? You've got to realize that. These women were called. They are examples. They were called for a purpose. For such a time as this. You are called to the world for such a time as this. Don't belittle yourself. Don't belittle the God that we serve. Saying that he's not able. But the Bible says that we are well able to get the job done. Praise God. If you have a, a pad and you're taking down the notes, praise God. I don't want to pick this up. Praise the Lord. There's a few things that you need to do in order to release yourself into your purpose. Glory to God. There's a few things that you need to do. Amen. This is for male and female. All right. You got to realize that God has a purpose for your life. He didn't just, poof, just decide to think about you and you showed up. But when he called you, when he thought about you, he designed you for purpose. So I want you to realize that in order for me to fulfill the plan of God for my life, I got to realize that he's called me for purpose. He's called me to a thing. He's called me to do something that can't nobody else do like I can do. And that's how you have to think about it. Do you not know that when God made you, even if you were a twin, your fingerprints are different? Because he wanted you to be an original. Whether you're twins, triplets, quads, or whatever, your, your fingerprints will never match your sibling. Because he created you to be different, to be original, to be you. Only one of you. There's only one of you. There's only one of Pastor Kim. There's only one of Pastor Felton. So don't try to be like us. Try to be like God. Try to fulfill the purpose and the call that God has called you to do. So you've got to realize that in you, there is purpose.